Let's take a look now at nets. So on the left we've got a cube. Now the net of a cube is the shape in its sort of flattened form. So if you imagine what it would look like if you needed to do some origami, uh, what, what it would look like if you needed to build a cube from a flat piece of paper. And these are various nets of cubes because we can fold all of these and here, 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 here and here, that would make a cube. Similarly, if we make folds here, 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 here and here, it would also make a cube. All of these will make a cube. Uh, the key thing is that if you've got this sort of straight line with one on the top, we need one on the bottom as well. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter where they are. It can be directly uh, above each other or slightly to the side. I mean, this cube could also be here or it could also be here. And this cube could be, as long as one's on the top and one's on the bottom, we've got a net of a cube. And this is also another net of a cube. It's, uh, it takes a while to get your head around this one, but that is also the correct net of a cube. So here we have the net of a shape. Well, we know it's the net of a cube because we've seen it on the previous picture. But if we fold this square up, again, like I said, imagine you're doing some origami. If you fold this up, it's going to look like this. Now, if you fold the next side up, it's going to look like that. And if we fold this square up, it will now look like this. And if we fold this part up, it will look like this and then finally if we fold this square over we've now got a box we've now got our cube <clears throat>